Hello Leo and welcome to your weekly reading for January 27th through February 3rd. Got everything set out and ready to go. The three stones that will help us this mo the most this week is Rose Quartz, the ultimate love stone, unconditional love, forgiveness, purifies and opens the heart, brings deep healing, self-love and trust. The stone is always good, 100% of the time. <laughs> Our second stone is Mahogany Obsidian, which has been coming up a lot. It is protective. It repels negativity, especially negative people. It's grounding. Removes energy blockages and help us reclaim our power. And then our little soapstone bear showed up again today. Yay! It's calming, stimulates ambition, unsticks and produces movement and is very malleable, shapeable, can change. Our rune this week is the Ansu's rune, which is the rune of wisdom and communication. It helps us receive messages and insights and gifts and blessings. Prosperity, it's awesome. <coughs> okay, let's start our reading. Our first card is the victory card. Woohoo! We can't get any better than that. Then we have the field of plenty, ideas and needs manifested. Awesome cards already. We have standing people, roots and giving. So standing people are the trees and they remind us to sink our roots deep in mother nature. It's only after we are stable that we can give to others. And trees are also malleable. They move with the wind. They're not stiff. They don't usually break. They go with the flow. Then we have a shaman's death. Ooh. Death and rebirth. That's an awesome card. It means that the things that no longer serve us are going away so that we can start brand new. Bottom of the deck is the South Shield, Innocence and the Inner Child. Sometimes going back to that state of innocence is what allows us to let the bad stuff go and to be childlike and new again. We have the traveler move in a new direction. And that can be just inside as well as outside. Move your thoughts in a different direction. Have an open mind. We have summer. Bask in joy and light. We have the High Priest, intend and create. Just really make sure that your intention is very clear on what you want. The Stargazer, set your sights higher. What you have right now or who you are right now you can be so much more. Set your sights higher. Keep growing. The Protection Guardian. Drop your shields. Allow yourself to be vulnerable. Break down that wall that you've built to protect yourself. Be bold and make the first move. Expect powerful change. Awesome. 
with a time for healing. Balance spirituality and practicality. In the bottom of the deck, ooh, prosperity lies ahead. Sweet. Spirit animal cards, dragonfly, spirit, truth transcends illusion. This world is mostly an illusion and finding the truth is very important. Of koi fish spirit, there is always enough. Scarab beetle, magic works through you. Have you found that magic? Are you letting it work through you? It is there. It doesn't matter who you are. You have magic within you. Wasp spirit says that sometimes life stings. I don't like that card, but it's part of life. And on the bottom of the deck, we have rhino spirit who have the power to overcome any obstacle. So that's interesting that those are both together. So there might be a few bumps in the road this week, but we have the power to overcome anything that comes our way. Okay, I don't think anything needs to be clarified. We have really good cards here. These are really, really strong. Victory and death and rebirth. Those are so powerful. Telling us to go back to our inner child, to that time of innocence where we could play outside in the summer all day and not worry about anything. Drop your shields, break down the wall that you've built to protect yourself. It's just keeping you from this joy and freedom of the inner child. That's where we need to heal. If we do that, we can expect powerful change and we're being supported where it says there is always enough and our idea, ideas and needs are manifested. But in order to do that, we have to move in a new direction, whether that's on the outside, maybe doing something new, but mostly it's about how we think, how we think about ourselves and how we intend and create that will bring about this powerful change. So we're going to place our stones now. We have our rose quartz, which is the stone of unconditional love, forgiveness. I'm going to put that on the innocence and inner child where we still used to have that unconditional love for ourselves, for other people, and for the world. I forgot to turn over our stone medicine card. We have the man in the maze. Sieha. He will help you. He will help you find your way through the maze of life, but you have to ask. Then we have our mahogany obsidian, which is protective and grounding. Oh, yes. Well, let's put that on wasp spirit. Let's just hope that this little wasp sting this week is just nothing big that we can just overcome like it's nothing. We have the power to overcome it. Our soapstone, little guy, produces movement. We're going to put that on the shaman's death. And remember, don't be scared by that card. That's a wonderful card. Because whatever is dying is things that are do not serve us, that are bad for us, 
that we need to get rid of so that we can have the inner innocence of the inner child again. Our rune was the rune of wisdom and messages and gifts and blessings and prosperity. We're going to put that on the koi fish spirit where it says there is always enough. And then I have a little something different to end our readings with. We're going to end them now with a, uh, a quote. So the quote for Leo for the week a beautiful face will age, a perfect body will change, but a beautiful soul will always be a beautiful soul. I hope you enjoyed your reading, Leo. Peace, love, and light. Until next time.